everyone, Clue is Dad here. Today we're going to be talking about the DAG series by Talas Baby. This is a series of interesting design foldable hip seats. So the key term here is not just hip seat, but foldable hip seat. So you may have seen my hip seat carrier review video uh, by Ergo Baby, and there's lots of other brands that are similar. They're basically fanny packs with kind of a hard seat in them that you can put your kid on so you don't have to support their whole weight on your arms. And in this case, Telos Baby has their own unique set that are pretty much different than anything I've seen. So I wanted to really briefly share with you guys what I discovered and see if you guys find it interesting. So they have four versions, the DAG 1, the DAG 3, the DAG 5, and the DAG 7. And they're all a little bit unique. So the DAG 1 is the one that I got a chance to try out. It's basically a fanny pack with a hard seat in it. Uh, and so in my Ergo Baby video, one of the things I discovered after I unboxed it is the fact that the hip seat itself, the fanny pack part, is actually occupied by a giant block of styrofoam. And I thought it was real waste. I was like, why can't they make this thing hollow so you could actually store something in there? So apparently Talas Baby was listening to people like me because that's exactly what they built. So they have basically the fanny pack and it kind of has some ribs on it so it has a little bit of strength to it as you can see in the video and that allows you to unzip it and actually put things inside and apparently uh, one of the key things is that the actual straps like the waistband can go in there and that's actually really useful I've noticed this with our Ergo Baby Hipsy carrier too there's no good way to carry it when it's not being worn um, just the straps pop out all over the place so I guess Telos Baby has actually addressed that in this case it's only the fanny pack belt part but at least it all fits in there and when you have it open you can actually put other things in there and on top of that it actually has some kind of more useful side bags than you would see like on the Ergo Baby which has a one really tiny side pouch which is hardly big enough for an iPhone 7 forget about an iPhone 7 Plus so the key features for the DAG one are basically storage space compact folding and the fact that it's actually pretty nice looking the quality looks pretty good next up we have the DAG 3 which is basically like an upsized version of the DAG 1 so it's not just you know the hip seat it's actually like a full-on cargo sized uh, fanny pack they say in the literature they can take a 500 milliliter bottle so that gives you an idea of the general size uh, but basically it's still just a waistband kind of hip carrier next up we have the DAG 5 which is basically a messenger type bag that has concealed inside of it uh, this, the waistband for a hip seat carrier as well. So this is nice because you can carry the bag and your baby at the same time or if you're not carrying the baby you can basically zip it up and kind of hide the uh, the waist strap so it can be a easy to take on and off kind of shoulder bag. Next up we have the DAG 7 which is the high-end one and this one my wife actually got to try a little bit so I have some pictures to share with you of this as well. So this is basically an upsized version of the DAG 5. So it's not just kind of a small shoulder bag. It's a pretty large one that you can use for shopping and you know, carrying groceries or whatever. Um, and on top of that, you can still carry the baby at the same time. So it also has the concealable hip seat as well. Unfortunately, I only had a few minutes to play around with this. Uh, but overall, the quality seemed pretty decent. Materials look really nice. Uh, and it basically works. I have you know had my kid on there and he wasn't falling off and the thing wasn't... Uh, you know breaking or collapsing or folding in on itself so uh, apparently you don't need a giant block of styrofoam in there if you construct this thing correctly price wise it goes for about 6,000 yen which I think now is a little bit over $50 US so that's actually pretty decent for the DAG 3 it's uh, 7,500 yen and for the DAG 5 it's 11,000 yen and the DAG 7 tops out at 13,000 yen that's Ichiman San Zen N which is about, I don't know, like $110, $115 right now. So compare that to the, say, Baby Bjorn or Ergo Baby Hipsy Carrier or other ones that you find on the market. Um, you know, those can go up to $150 or even more, maybe $200. So, uh, you know, the most expensive one here is slightly over $100. And it's not exactly the same. It's kind of apples to oranges. But, you know, this one includes a bag, so that's not so bad. Okay, so that's all I can say pretty much for now. Uh, if I do get a chance, I will try them out further. I might just go out and buy the DAG one myself because based on my experience with the Ergo Baby hip seat, uh, having one of these is really useful, especially like on the plane when uh, you don't want to wear the full-on thing, but you just want to walk around with a kid. 
So hopefully I do get a chance to uh, do in depth and I'll share another video with you when I do. And let me just really quickly share uh, where I actually got a chance to try this out on. Uh, when I was in Tokyo last month, uh, my wife found this uh, DIY type photo studio in an apartment somewhere on the other side of town. Uh, she found it through Instagram and they invited us to come. And so uh, while we were there, they had these baby products that they wanted us to like try out and asked if we could share on Instagram to help them out. And that's why the pictures I'm showing you today look like they were taken in a photo studio because basically they were. And if you guys are interested, I could do a whole video just about how that little DIY photo studio thing works. Kind of a scam. Last but not least, thanks to everyone who's watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below. And do consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Actually, I really love the comments, so do give us more. And see you guys next time. Bye.